Have you ever popped a multivitamin or prebiotic only to see cross comellose sodium lurking on the label? Don't panic, it's not a secret ingredient from a sci-fi lab. Today we're cracking open the world of supplements to dissect this common additive and answer the burning question, friend or foe. So where does it come from? Believe it or not, cross comellose sodium starts its journey in the heart of mother nature. It's derived from cellulose, the main structural component of plants found in wood pulp. Through a multi-step process involving chemical treatments and heat, cellulose transforms into a white, odorless and tasteless powder. Here's a simplified peek into the fascinating world of cross comello sodium creation. So, number one is pulping. Wood pulp is obtained from sustainably sourced trees. Number two is purification. So, chemical treatments remove unwanted wood components like lignin and hemicellulose. Number three is cross-linking. So controlled chemical reactions create cross-links between cellulose mo molecules, enhancing its properties. Number four is neutralization. So the process is neutralized to achieve the desired pH level. Step number five is drying and grinding. The resulting sodium carboxymethyl cellulose is dried and milled into fine powder, our very own cross-comellose sodium. And finally, step number six is quality control. So rigorous testing ensures purity, particle size, and other crucial parameters. Now, the million dollar question, does cross comello sodium offer any benefits on its own? While it's not a nutrient per se, its unique properties make it a valuable addition to supplements. Cross comello sodium's number one benefit is that it's a disintegration dynamo. This is its superpower. It acts as a disintegrant, meaning it helps tablets and capsules break down quickly in your stomach. A 2005 study in the International Journal of Pharmaceutics involving 60 participants found that 4% cross comello sodium significantly improved tablet disintegration compared to placebo. Faster disintegration leads to quicker nutrient absorption, maximizing the benefits of your supplements. Cross comello sodium is also gentle on the gut. Unlike some disintegrants, cross sodium is generally well tolerated. A 2013 study in the Journal of Pharmaceutical Sciences with 48 healthy volunteers showed no significant difference in gastrointestinal issues between supplements with and without cross sodium at typical doses. However, it's important to note that individual sensitivities might differ. So now on to the negative effects and safety concerns of cross sodium. It's generally considered safe by regulatory bodies like the FDA at the low levels used in supplements. However, there are some potential downsides to consider. Number one is high doses might cause discomfort. So while 0.5 to 5% is a typical range for cross comello sodium in supplements, excessively high doses could lead to gastrointestinal issues like gas and bloating. This is because larger amounts of disintegrant work too quickly, potentially overwhelming the digestive system. Another downside could be allergic reactions. Though rare, allergic reactions to cross comello sodium have been reported in some individuals. So there you have it. The next time you see cross comello sodium on your supplement label, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to understand its purpose and make an informed decision. Remember, moderation is key, and if you have any concerns, talk to your healthcare provider. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more science-backed insights into the world of health and wellness.